All right, so welcome guys. Thanks for coming in. My name is Andrea. This is Titan Bar. Uh, we're going to be using some hand weights, light hand weights, and a mat, and then you definitely want a chair for your bar work. So go ahead, I'm going to give you just a few minutes to grab that. If you're new to bar, welcome. Thanks for coming in. Um, this is a strength-based class. If you don't have hand weights, that's okay. Just use your body weight. Um, you're good to go. Again, welcome to bar. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get started in just a few seconds. I'm going to give you time, so like I said, go ahead and get your camera set up so that when you, we are going down on the ground, you'll be able to see everything. And then um, grab a chair. You want something sturdy for your bar work. Okay, you don't want anything that's going to tip over. So something sturdy for your bar work. Light hand weights, water bottles, and I think we're good to go with music. All right. Welcome, guys. Here we go. We're just going to start with the pony. If I go right and you go left, that's okay. You got it. Add a little tilt. Here we go. Keep that stomach lifted. Press the shoulders down. You are twisting from the waist. It goes hip straight forward. In four, three, two, and bring it to the Roll to the seat. Toe to the last thing that we put for. Lift that stomach. And if you'd like, you can take it to the little tip. And get go. Good work, guys. Four more. Three. Here's two. Take it to a squat. Squat. Yeah. Lift that knee, it's a drop. Now when you go into that squat, keep the weight centered. You're going to put the weight into that outer foot. Back into your heels, sit back. Sit back in the Good. Reach and pull with those arms. Reach and pull. Reach and pull. Good. You can add a little circle. Circle. Circle it out. That leg, warming up with the hips. Two more. We're going to take it to a squat together. We're going to take time for a squat. There we go. Alright, so here in the middle, drop box. Around the knee. We're going corner, corner. Good. Eight. Seven. You get that twist in there. Six. Two more. Three. And one. Keep it seven. Back down. Little pulses. Put those arms out. Now squeeze your shoulder blades together. Stomach's lifted. Drop a little bit lower if you can. Eight. Seven. Six. Four. Take those arms press, so drop down nice and low. Six, five, four, three. Legs drop, eight, seven. Can you move lower? I get you again. Four, three, good work. Now hold it down, press. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Bring it to that line. We go down and up and down and up. Reach and pull. Reach. Here's those shoulder blades. Down to 10. 90 90 with those knees. 90 degree bend in both knees. Pick up that back heel for four, three, two. Hold it down. Little pulse press. Back is straight. Stomach's lifted. Drop that back knee a little close if you can. There you go. Good work. You have eight. Seven. It should be perfect. You can do this in four, three, two. Back knee goes in, out, in, out. For 30 seconds. Now, this is your strength move right here. Keep it nice and low. Cardio, go add speed. How are we going to add that jump? Add that jump. We're going 30 seconds. Here we go. Use your arms. 
again, wherever you want to go. Strength, that's the low. Cardio, that's the speed. Maybe you get your arms. Power, drive that knee and add the pop. You're on halfway, guys. Halfway. You got this. Get some pull. Get eight more. If you do it. Four, three, two, and three. Pull it back. Raise it up. Pull it back. Raise it up. Pull it back. That's what you work. So four more. Three more. Two more. And one. Try to first flat. And six. And again, I'm sitting in that corner. Make sure you're in the diagonal. Corner to corner. Weight is in the back. Into the heels. Out of the back. You got it. You got it, guys. You have four more. Three. Two. And one. Hold it down. Eight. Seven. Can we go a little bit lower this time? Yes. Four. Three. Now drop. Eight. Seven. Six. A little bit lower. Push those knees back. Pulses with the legs. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And hold down. Eight. Seven. Six. Squeeze that booty. Four. Three. Guess what? One more because you can. It's eight. Seven. Six. Squeeze. Four. Three. Two. And hold. Eight. Seven. Six. Reach those arms out. Four. Three. Relax. Good work, guys. Woo! Don't forget to breathe. 90 90 with those knees. Bending 90 degrees each time. Reach and pull. Reach. Use your back to pull. Reach and pull. You have four more. One more. Hold it down and pull. Hold it down. Pulses. Weight is seven. Eight. Seven. Sit. Shoulders stacked over your hips. Four. Three. Two. Back knee. You know it, 30 seconds. So, strength, stay nice and low. Cardio, add some speed. Power, drive when you add the hop. Drive when you add the hop. You have 30 seconds. Strength, you're nice and low. There you go. Stay with me, guys. We're almost there. Both arms, do a little bit more cardio. Drive it, drive it. Three more. Two. And one. And we go up and back. Up and back. Four minutes, those calves. Roll through the foot. There you go. Eight. Seven. Good work. Four. Three. Two. And one. Yeah. Now, if you need a break at any time, please take it. Grab your water. Make sure you have some water. Grab that water. Now, from here, you can go a little cardio, so you can have a little jump. Up to releve. Add that jump if you'd like, or you can stay flat on your feet. You're okay. Four more. And three. And two. We're going to hold it right here. Hands on the quadriceps. Scoop the belly. And release. Scoop the belly. And release. I'm going to turn sideways. When you scoop that belly, you pull that belly button into your spine. We're going to push that spine all the way to the ceiling. So scoop. You're not alone. And release. And you can help you have four. Stay six feet apart. Three. Remember this move for when we go to the floor for a half hour. Two. Now scoop the belly. Drop one shoulder and release. Your part. And just Slow go to the that spine. Learn more push the knees back. Pull the hips down. forward. And again, center scoop. CDC Foundation. And drop the other side. Spectrum Mobile is now the Hold fastest growing forward. mobile provider in the nation. And growing center. faster than Verizon, AMT, and even growing faster than Verizon. And even growing faster than Verizon. And even growing faster than Verizon. Spectrum delivers and the fastest overall down, speed and, and, and is the most reliable can, mobile service coast to coast. Get that down all the way to the floor. If not, you keep the hand on the thigh. Either way. And then bring it center. And let's get to the other side. Don't forget to breathe. Again, you can reach it down and bring it center. 
We're actually going all the way to the floor. You're going to take it down on the floor. I'm going to give you a minute to grab your mat. And we're going to go down on the floor. As soon as you have it, grab your water, grab your mat, and go into a plank. And go ahead, hold your plank. Wait for the rest of us in a plank. How's that? All right. If you need a break, you can take it at any time. Modification on the plank for those of you who are just starting out. Um, you have, so here's the plank. Hands in front of your knees and shoulders. Pop up, belt, shoulder blades, upper back. Pull your stomach in and keep those hips low. Stomach in, you're in a straight line from the shoulders to the toes. You want a small modification, you bend the knees. All right? If you're having problems with your wrist, you always have to drop down to that forearm plane. Hands are in the number 11 position. You don't want to hold to your hands. We want to keep them flat and stay apart. So you're going into that plane. All right? Wherever you want to go, you're going to hold it. This is your strength move. Strength move right here. Flexibility brings in motion. Pull your one knee into the elbow. Knee to elbow. And then your cardio would be a mountain climber, so you run it out. 30 seconds. Alright, I'm going to face the clock so I know when your 30 seconds is up. We're starting now. Off you go. Alright, so I'm going to plank. Your strength move. Your modification. Flexibility brings your motion. Pull that knee to the elbow. Cardio. Mountain climber. Add the run.
and up. Good work. How about four more? Can you go lower. Three. Two. One more. Good work. All right. Give me that little kickstand. So what that means is that right leg that you've already been working is going back. It's going to balance you. Hinge at the hip. Pull that stem again. Now reverse fly. Open and close. So you can open and close. But I need you to have that nice flat back. So if you're bent over here, that's not going to do a lot of work. I want you to go ahead and flatten it out. All the way to that front leg. If you'd like, take it to the deadlift right there. Open and close. Yeah? All right, can you give me that flat back? There you go. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. If that's too much, go back to your kickstand. Hinge at the hip, push that tail on back. You have four. We're going three. Here's two. And one. Stand up, give me that step touch. A little bit of cardio here, kind of shake those legs out. Reach, and reach, and reach, and reach, and reach. There you go, 30 seconds. You can go to that speed skate, you can keep it low at your step touch. Whatever you like. Just get your heart rate up. So you know where we're going after this. We're going back into that squat. I'm going to pull. 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 Keep going. You have 10 seconds. There you go. I might have to sing if the music keeps cutting out. It's all right. <laughs> You guys don't want me singing honest. All right, there's your 30 seconds. Take it down into the squat. Reach out and stand. Let's squat. Reach out and stand. Squat. Reach. Stand. Now remember, weight is in the outer part of the foot. Back into the heel. Can you wiggle those toes? Can you pull that stomach in just a little bit tighter? Can you squeeze that booty just a little bit tighter? There you go. Woo! You got it. Good work, guys. You have four more. Last two. All right, squat, overhead press. Squat, overhead press. There you go. All the way up over your head. Big push. Again, if you have those weights, grab them. If you don't, we're doing good. You got this. Push like you're pushing something off your head. Push it. You got that in four. Woo! Three. Here's two. And one. Take it back to your lunge. So lunge and tap. And lunge and tap. Bicep curl. Up. At the knee, you want to check your balance. Challenge your core. You got that knee. Pull. Stomach's in. The muscle right there.
apart. Try not to just swing your arms. Find those shoulder blades squeeze. Find those shoulder blades squeeze. Offer resistance even if you're not in the waves. Think about being in the water and how you have to push against water and you've got to pull against the water. Push, pull. If you're ready, you can go ahead and lift that leg. All right? So that back leg is going to come up as you lift those arms. Last four. You know we're there, guys. Three more. Two and one. Come on up. Last little bit of cardio, 30 seconds. Here we go. Here we go. All right. So you can keep it at a step touch, nice and low. You can add a little leap, or you can give me a nice big leap. All right? Okay. Reach it out. Reach it out. Less than 20. You can do it. It's all right if that heart rate goes up. We get a break after this. Good work, guys. You have 10. Stay with it. In five, four, Three, two, one. Nice work. Up and shake it out. Grab some water. Get your sturdy chair, please. All right. If you need to wipe off, go ahead. All right. So you're going to want the bar, but not right away. We're going to start with the hip hinge. Stomach's lifted. Hinge at the hip. Bring your arms overhead. Now pull to the side. Reach and pull. And back. Reach it over the head and pull it back. I need that nice flat back. You're not bent all the way down, you're just hinging at the hip. Okay? Reach and pull. Reach and pull. Now, that's a little trick for you. Take one foot and place it slightly in front. Hinge. Reach and pull. You should feel that front leg really activating. So if you find that maybe your left side is not as strong as your right side, Place that left foot forward. Okay? Four. Three. Two. And one. Stay in that hip hinge and reach. We're gonna lift the right foot. Sorry, heel. Right heel, left heel. Pull that stomach in. Try to get those arms by the ears. Not here. I know that's where I was. So let's go up. Hinge. Oh, the back of the leg is firing up right here, yeah? I sure hope so. Mine is starting to burn. Right and left. How about eight more? Seven. Six. We have four. Three. Two. And one. Good. Come on up, shake it out. All right, if you felt that in your back, you got to engage those cores a little bit. Face your bar, second position. I'll grab that part. Second, second position is nice and wide. You're going to find a turnout. So you're going to open the feet, open the knees, lift the stomach, open the hips. So your turnout happens from up to here. All right, so it's not your feet. It's through the hip. You're going to open. It's a nice wide squat. Down and up. Down. Two and up. Two. So what you want to think about is you're on ice skates and we're on a block of ice and you're pushing them out. Now you're pulling your feet in. You're pushing out. You're pulling in. Push those feet out. Pull them in. Bar is there for balance if you need it. And squeeze. Pull that stomach in. Shoulder blades together. Let's go singles. Down and up. Down and up. Good work. Push those knees back. Weight is in the upper part of the foot. Follow the foot. Four more. Three. Squeeze those thighs together. Two. Little pulses. Hold it down. Push those knees back. Squeeze that booty. Get those knees back. Opening them at the hips. You have eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Hold it down. Pick up your heels. Pick them up. Set them down. Pick them up. Set them down. There's your bar. Pick it up. Set it down. Pick it up. Set it down. Stay low. So you don't want to come up and down. We want to stay low. Just pick it up. Pop those heels. You have four, three, two. Stay wide. We're going to go into a curtsy squat. And then you're going to come center. Now, if you're not comfortable with your curtsy squats, you're going to go to a lunge. A 
and open. And back and open. If you're comfortable with the curtsy squat, this back foot crosses all the way behind you. Keep your hips forward and center. Down and center. Don't worry about the arms. Whatever feels good with those arms. All right, we have four more. Three. So little by little, if you're not working into that curtsy squat, take it to a passe. So curtsy squat, passe. Down to a curtsy, lift. Starting with the lunge again. When you go to the passe, turn out. Curtsy squat, keep moving that leg over just a little bit. And up. How about four more? Three. Think about pulling the foot to the knee. Two, or the calf. And we're going to hold it. Find your balance. Stomach's lifted. Push the knee back. Find that balance. Stomach's in. Shoulders down. Leg with those necks. Go ahead. Four, three, two, and one. So now from here, grab onto that bar. You're in your passe. You can go to what's called an attitude. Your back knee is bent. You're going to bend that front knee. And we're going to stand up tall. Back knee is bent. So basically what I'm doing is I'm holding my passe and I'm just opening up to the hip. So you make that diagonal. You make that diamond just a little bit bigger. As you pull your foot back to your calf or your knee, knee stays back. Bend the knee you're standing on and up. We have four more. And three. You can face your bar. You can hold on with one hand too. We're going to hold this one hold. You know what we're doing. Little pulse, lift, lift, lift. Get that knee up. Get that knee up. So we're not here. Open, open. Create space in between those thighs. Well, here's four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Woo! We're going to go to the other side. All right, starting with the feet together. Down and up. Now squeeze those thighs together. Push the toe onto the wall behind you and lift. And down. Are we done at 20 after? Push it back. We'll get there. <laughs> Push it back. Squeeze your thighs together. Let that stomach weight in the outer part of the foot and that heel. One more, hold it down and pulse. Now squeeze those thighs together. Squeeze, go. For eight, seven, six. Can you go lower? In four, three. Nice work. All right, curtsy squat. Second position. Curtsy squat. Second position. If you're not comfortable with the curtsy squat, drop into your back lunge. All right. Cross it over little by little. Get into that curtsy squat. Cross it over little by little. Woo! Drop. Down low. Lower. Nice wide second position here. Push those knees back. You have four more. Three. Two. And one. Going up to that passe. Curtsy squat. Passe. Now remember when you do your passe, pull the knee back, hold that foot to the ankle, calf, or knee. Push it back though. Open up through those hips. Stomach's up. So you've got a back lunge or a curtsy squat to that passe. Back and up. You have four more, so I want to get some abs. Last three. Two. Okay, work one more. We're going to hold this one. Hold it. Now balance. Turn out, lift the stomach, open up through the hips. Balance, find that core. Push down on that supporting leg for four, and three, and two, and one. Take that leg to back attitude. So you're gonna have attitude, pull it center. Attitude, pull it center. And out, and center. Now, don't forget that leg you're standing on. You don't want the toes forward. We want them turned slightly out, just like that second position, so that when you go into your passe, you're making a diamond with your legs. And then as you go to that attitude, all right? So passe diamond, attitude. 
attitude. Four more. And three. There you go. Yes, two. Good work. And little pulses. Hold that back leg like up. Up. Bend the knee you're standing on. Lift that stomach. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Yes, that standing leg is burning. Sometimes that leg is working harder than your working leg. So grab your down leg on the floor. I have just a couple minutes of sit up for you. All right, well, we got a lot of legs in today. That's not good. Come on down on the ground. We're going to start with just regular crunches up and down. All right, so we want to pull that stomach in, belly button into the spine, elbows back. So we're going to hold it here. If you need to adjust your camera, go ahead. Elbows back. Chin about off your chest. Lift that stomach. Yeah, remember that scoop belly we did at the beginning of class in the warm up. That's what I want you to do now. Scoop that belly. Belly button into the spine. Spine all the way into the floor. Lift that tailbone off the floor. Middle twist. Twist, center, twist, center. Make sure you're going in the opposite direction.
stretch all the way through the back of the legs. And don't forget to breathe. All right, crossing that ankle over the knee. Go ahead, take it to your figure four stretch. Do the best you can. If you can't get that foot on the knee, you're okay. Just do what you can.